You're watching Daily Dish. So the most romantic day of the year is coming up tomorrow. And if you are still not sure what to do for that special someone, fondue is always a crowd pleaser. Joining me now with a few recipes you will want to try this year is none other than the Vineyard Mom, Leslie Dabney, joining me from her kitchen. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Nisha. So Leslie, can you make a romantic fondue recipe at your own home? Absolutely. I say put down that phone. Don't make any reservations for dinner. Let's have some cheese fondue. And then for dessert, how about some chocolate fondue? Okay, talk us through the cheese fondue recipe. Is it easy? It's so easy. I think people get intimidated, but it's not. I'm going to show you how easy it is. First, I'm going to make mine in a pan first. I'm going to start off with some just dry white wine. And you can use a Chardonnay if you like. I have a little bit of lemon juice and for some fun flavor, a little bit of brandy. And all I have to do is put this on my stove and I'm gonna slowly whisk in some Gruyere and some Swiss cheese right on the stove, very slowly till it all completely melts. So once it's melted on the stove, and I do that right before I'm ready to serve, Nisha, then I have this absolutely gorgeous cheese. I mean, look at this. And oh, that is beautiful. Buy? Look how gooey that is. I know. Nice hot cheese. It only took about five to seven minutes on my stove to melt it. And then the best part, let's face it, it's the dippers. What can we dip inside that delicious cheese to make it fun? So I have some suggestions for you. And of course, whatever you love, you can, you can choose. I love to do some bread. I have some kielbasa. Do you like vegetables to dip in your cheese fondue, Nisha? I like both. I like the veggies, and I think you're showing apples, too. There's something about apples with the cheese. I love apples and cheese as well, so I have some nice green apples. I have some pretty um, new potatoes that I pre-cooked so that they're nice and soft. I also have some beautiful, colorful cauliflower, so you can almost feel a little good about eating all that cheese with some vegetables. Leslie, I did not even think about the potatoes. That is a great idea. Okay, we have about 60 seconds left. We have to get to the chocolate recipe. Okay, melted chocolate in the fondue. Make it really simple. You can get your chocolate at the store. Same thing, I melt it on the top of my stove, and you can dip anything into it. How about a beautiful strawberry, Nisha? Would you like to have a beautiful strawberry dipped into this chocolate? Oh, I wish I was in your kitchen right now dipping that gorgeous strawberry. Yes. I like that we did the savory and the sweet, and finally we're ending with a drink idea. Cure Real. That's what it is. It's a champagne with a beautiful Chambord liqueur. Makes it nice and pink. And we're going to top it with just a few raspberries. If this doesn't say romance, Nisha, I don't know what does. And it actually says, yes, you can do this at your house. You're right. You don't need to get takeout, Leslie. You don't. And absolutely have fun with it. I think fondue is an event and it's not just a meal. Well, I feel dippy and snacky and that combines everything. I mean, it just like flows from the Super Bowl right into Valentine's Day. If you need more ideas, everyone from the Vineyard Mob, she's on Instagram and TikTok. All of her information is on your screen and, our, and on our website at abc4.com slash daily dish. Happy Valentine's Day and Valentine's Day, Leslie. You too, and cheers. Cheers to you. We're right back with more dish after this short break.